Hey guys, Jason, and I have some really interesting cryptocurrency news for you. So the coin, Vertcoin, um, which we have heard a few days ago had increased 100-150% in price overnight, has some new interesting news coming out from the developers. So you might be interested to know what it is, and I'm here to tell you. They have added a stealth address. Now, this kind of um, beats down its competitor. One of its biggest competitors is Darkcoin, or standing for DRK. Now, it has actually, when this has been tested, it is faster and simpler than DRK or Darkcoin, and it's really, really awesome. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why is this really that awesome? What is the implementations that Vertcoin is now adding in this new update? What it will do is, for instance, uh, I'm going to assume you're not doing this for legal purposes, so let's go on that case. You can use what we call Bitcoin Mixer accounts. And so you send a Bitcoin into this account, it meshes it up with a whole bunch of other Bitcoins, and it spews out all these little um, transactions so that an outsider will view the transactions and can't link um, the input to the output. Uh, you can see how there will be illegal actions being used with that. Uh, money laundering, of course, is a big one. Well, a lot of people in the cryptocurrency realm just love privacy. They don't want people to be able to track their finances or track their um, payments, and I can understand that reasoning. And so, Vertcoin actually adds it to be very simplistic, very easy to use. Um, I've seen it tested, I actually watched and talked to someone that tested it on the testnet. And there's apparently another type of testnet that they run that I was kind of confused about, but they're tested on that too. They basically have confirmed it works, they're going to do some more extensive tests, but then they're going to be pushing it out in a client update. Now, a lot of people have been saying, well, Jason, is it true that some of the people in Vertcoin have kind of left the project? And a lot of people have been trying to say that Vertcoin is dead. And I actually kind of believed that for a few seconds when I was reading through some of the comments. But if, if you really divulged in the information, um, the coin is not dead. It's actually very much alive. They had one developer leave, but a few other developers stepped up to take in his place. And you see right here with this stealth address, you know, it's pretty awesome. Now, I know Darkcoin is actually above Stealthcoin as of right now, but... Um, or I mean not Southcoin, Vertcoin, and I, I think this is going to be the balance weight that's going to push Vertcoin over Darkcoin. Now, that's not financial information. I don't want you to use that to do any financial trading, but that's my personal opinion based on the information that we have here. Now, like I said, we've tested it on the testnet, and it seems to run. If you know anything about testing cryptocurrencies and new releases, you'll always run it for a few days, sometimes even a week on the testnet to make sure there's no bugs. You you send coins, you send all this very stuff. You, you basically stress test the new client update to make sure you know that you're not going to have an error where, where someone like say loses their coins or a coin doesn't get to its destination because it didn't input the data into the text document into the block um, right and that's an issue you want to make sure you test and verify you don't have no issues corresponding to that and the last thing that um, has been bringing a lot of people up with this vert coin and I find really interesting is it uses a, a thing called script in and so it's different it's not SHA 256 it's not script it's its own kind of unique algorithm, right, for mining. And they've done something that no other coin has done. They have put up the challenge, you know, because we've seen with, like, Litecoin, everyone said, oh, well, there'll never be ASICs for Litecoin. And obviously there were, I did a video here recently talking about CPU coins and how, you know, we have centralized mining. But Vertcoin actually comes out with something that's even crazier. They're saying anyone, anytime they come out with a hardware, like an ASIC device that can mine Vertcoin, they're going to hard fork the coin. And so that's really interesting. We haven't really seen that um, kind of pronounced before. And whether it's actually rumored they're going to do this in a few months because there are um, rumors, again rumors, that there are script in ASIC boards coming out. Again, you know, because it's such a um, close um, niched um, type of um, mining algorithm, I'm kind of iffy on that. Maybe these mining companies are just trying to take your money, you know, cruise these boards. So I'd be kind of wary. But I think it's kind of interesting that they're willing to basically fork their coin um, to a different algorithm just to protect it so that the average user can mine the coin without the implementation of tons of ASIC boards flooding the market. Kind of interesting, I think. But I think the biggest aspect right now is that they've added the stealth address. And I myself am going to be testing this out, stress testing it to see how it works. Because the, you know, the whole idea of, for instance, Vertcoin is for privacy, is for protection. And adding stealth coin really gives it that extra bump. And I actually watched a video on the, of a cryptocurrency convention of a guy that actually talked about Vertcoin. And I will be doing a, a Vertcoin video explaining the details of it and um, basically the facts relating to um, Vertcoin. Like I do with all the coins, I kind of do an a informational video, you know, breaking out the coin and giving the user all the information they need to know whether they want to invest in that coin or not. So um, watch for that in the next few weeks. And I hope I informed you guys. 
I know I said that in my every video, but I really do. I, I, my goal on these videos is to inform the end user, to give you guys information that you can make better trades, to give you guys better information that you can make better information out of stuff. You know, you want to be an informative, informed Bitcoiner, and not just a Bitcoiner, but a cryptocurrency person. And that's my goal of these videos, is to provide that information to you. Um, again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave that below or email me. I also have a Twitter. It's the same as this um, username right here. And have a great night.